So, I really didn't review all these guys. Only some of them I reviewed. Like, I said I was going to read that Peter Parker, but I didn't have time to. I just caught this Gambit. Beautiful Gambit. I just got to say that. You saw the Target exclusive. You never saw that thing. The Professor X and Magneto 2-pack. Or the Taskmaster or the Mysterio. Or that. Or Winter Soldier. So, a lot of these I never reviewed. Only two I reviewed on here. I'm going to review these. So, what I'm going to be doing today is top 10 Marvel Legends action figures that I, that were just my favorites of all this time of year. You have some people that didn't put these guys down in there. And there's like, if you go to Shriners Prime, you didn't have this. So, other people have their, have their opinions on these things. So, I'm very happy to say that I'm getting this done. For you guys, so I'm very happy about this. So, also be sure to check out Trimus Prime and the Floosh. I'm gonna be working on a thing that's based off the Floosh, so you may want to go check him out if you, if you see the play day thing. I'm working on something called Stop Motion Play Day, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So, I'm gonna just probably prop some more things, some things I've done with my Marvel figures, some updates. I don't re I don't paint. I don't really do repaints. I don't commit customs, but I think I may start making customs for these. So, without matter of fact, let's get to it with today's top ten favorite Marvel Legends, Marvel Legend figures from 2020. And remember, I said I'm Star Master. Your buddy Star Master is here to tell you everything you guys need to know. So let's get to it and look at these. In spot, I'm going to give it to the Target exclusive X-Men TV show in the 90s, Gambit. So, this Gambit, first ever time getting Gambit. I know there's like a lot of Gambits in the world. We have the SH Figure Watch one, the Bandai. No, Bandai's the same thing. But we have a whole bunch of different ones that I... That I never picked up, and I was really young to get these ones. So went to Target, saw this, I was like, they have that, and Marvel Thunderstrike. So I got them as together, but I didn't do that, guys. So I was very happy to get these. I know Gambit is a card, has these weird Sonic things where you throw cards. I don't really know a lot about him, so. That's why I picked him at the number 10 spot, but I liked him. I didn't have a lot of. Don't really have a lot of X-Men figures. Only have a Wolverine, Logan. That thing broke, by the way. So, you may want to be careful when you do that for a little while. I, I really do like this. It's a nice repaint. Like how the, They gave him a little more pink. Hot pink. Than just purple. Purple doesn't fit this guy. If you just read the comments. Purple does not fit this guy. I read some of the comments. Comics. Sorry. Never mind. It is comics with Gambit and the X-Men. Those are really good comics, comics to read. I really dig that comic where he is helping out the X-Men and everything. But enough talking about this guy. Let's get to number nine. And at number nine, I'm giving it to the movie version Taskmaster. I'm only giving it a nine. I would have put it at ten. But I barely even knew what Gambit was. I wasn't really a... Huge fan of Gambit till I got him, so I had to put it right there at 10. But I'm putting him at 9. First Taskmaster, same thing. I know a lot about Taskmaster. The Avengers created him because of a type of tech thing. I like him. His access There's a lot of accessories at home. There's like Black Panther claws. Also, I'm going to play a tribute to... Uh, this is pretty old, but... May, may Trambles rest in our hearts. That man is a saint. I love I watched every single one of his movies except the ones that are rated R, except for 21 Bridges. Those He was a perfect actor. I loved him. He really did a good job on Black Panther. But enough talk about him. Rest in peace. But Taskmaster, this is the movie version for Black, Pan Black Widow. Now, so Black Widow was scheduled to come out la last year towards the beginning, towards the end of the school year for people that go to school. And I was really happy to get this guy. And it took a while for me to find where this guy was. 
So what happened is that I ordered him and I didn't find the I misplaced the box in my house. Funny story. It was a pretty funny story. But he comes with a sword and a shield. The shield I have a gripe with. That shield So you can't do what Captain America does with with his figures unless you get only if you get the comic book version. He has a version of his shield where you have the port where you put in his back and you have the the clip things you can put on his wrist. That guy came with like the same exact shield, but it was a little a little too small. I was not very happy of it. But the sword was pretty cool. And it came with fisted hands. Then it came with a bow and arrow. Now, the bow and arrow was very hard to put to put him in poses with. So I didn't bring all my accessories out. I only wanted to pick out his accessories. Because I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm not in my own house. I'm at my grandma's house. So Mind your business, guys. Yes, yeah, so that... And I would have taken an unmasked, like, without the, without the hood on. I could have taken that version of a different head sculpt. But we're probably going to see later on a newly version of this. Okay? So just be prepared to get one of those guys. Alright? Just be prepared for these guys to come out. More of these guys. Sorry about the background noise out there. Um, So, that Peter Parker didn't come with a lot of accessories. only came with, like, a... That head and his other alternate head with a camera. Then it comes with a lot of accessories. It came with glasses. I did not like the glasses on him. I, I expected the glasses to be see-through, not just full-on pitch blue. I needed to be translucent glass. Also, just found this outside of my, just in my station room over here. I decided to put this up because it looks a little bit nice and just fix it. There you go. It's a little bit better looking. Okay, it could be a little bit better. Yeah, but sorry about the noise. It's a little too loud here. But that figure. Um, I'm pretty happy to have a Peter Parker so I can make a type of Spider-Man Far From Home. So I have the Far From Home suit. But I don't have, what's it called? The stealth suit. I used to have it. And the arm broke off on me, so. Pretty mad about that. Uh, but I can, I'll be working on the Spider-Man Homecoming one. Just gotta get all my, my Spider-Man stuff situated. Gotta find myself my Spider-Man tech suit. The one that Iron Man gives him. Then I can use any Iron Man. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where Iron Man you can use it. Unless it's like the old one. Don't use that or the, or the comic book implications of them. If you're trying to make a stop motion. But if you're just gonna make, trying to make the undead when he's trying, when he's, when if you're trying to do that mysterious scene where he comes up, where he comes out from the grave, he's trying to attack Spider Man. You could do that scene. That's not a bad scene to do. That's it's easy. You can use any Iron Man if you need it. But enough talking about me. Yeah, I came with these wide open hand like gripping hands that were wide open, not a gun holding hand. Not a web sling hand. I'd like to have fist hands. And that I'd like to have an alternate head where he he has a mask. But yes, he has just a plain spot, not a Spider-Man mask, just a random type mugging mask. I don't care what it is. It had to look nice. That's just one of my gripes about this, okay? Because it looked cool. Okay. But that's an F. Let's get to number seven. And at the number seven spot, I'm giving it to the Mysterio, Retro Mysterio. I never, I never reviewed this. I put it at the number one spot because I never seen Mysterio have a maroon cape. This that was just weird looking. I know they had the running chains version, the toy biz version, but I never bought those because at the time I wasn't really in tomorrow figures until I got my first one, the Deadpool, because I really wanted a Deadpool figure. That's when I started buying Marvel figures. Like I wanted to collect them, I wanted to be a collectible, and that's when I started wanting to be, be, be one. And by the action figures, like, before I was kind of scared not to be one because my friends, because you have, like, some friends that are not supportive and they're kind of rude to you. And I was in middle school at the time when I wanted to get these and when these things came out, so. Kind of took forever, but the first Marvel Legends, if you guys heard of the Cap, you guys can Cap, if you haven't seen Captain America Winter Soldier, I suggest you go watch it. But if you haven't, there's going to be spoilers over it. Oh, it's ahead. I... 
the first Marvel figure I got was the Marvel Legends Captain America Winter Soldier, Captain America Stealth Suit. And I watched that movie multiple times until I got that action figure. So, sorry about the background noise. You know, people are getting in trouble at my house. But, I'm going to continue the story. It's going to be a long one. Yeah, I actually got my Marvel figure. My first ever Marvel Legend was when I was in elementary school. Captain America Winter Soldier came out. My favorite cat, favorite Marvel movie at the time. I didn't really like Avengers. That movie was really... I wasn't into Iron Man. I didn't really like Iron Man. He, th I thought he was just really boring to me until I started watching other movies. Started seeing his character growth in the movies. And I was like, he's not a jerk anymore. So, I liked it. Then again, sorry. Pause it because something came up. But that guy was tremendous in my movies. I never knew how Roger Down Jr. was and how old he was. And I know that 2002 Spider-Man was a really good movie. I thought that that what made them to you. I thought that's what made them to you. I was like Kevin Feige wanted to make it, wanted to get Sam Raimi to direct Spider-Man and other movies, and I was like, that's why Marvel movies, that's why superhero movies came out. And I was like. And then I go and I'm like in the 80s, in the 70s, in the 60s. I see all these super movies. I was like, these are really horrible movies. Like the Spider-Man movie in the 90s, in the eight, I mean in the 60s, horrible. Stan Lee even hated it. So that's just don't watch that movie. So just gonna say that. Don't watch that. I'm not trying to be mean, but you can watch it if you want. But I thought Marvel, the person that created super movies was none other than Sam Raimi himself, director of the three Spider-Man movies with Tony McGuire. I I know people don't like Spider-Man 3, but that's one of my favorite Spider-Man movies of all time. But then Andrew Garfield came out. Andrew Garfield sucked as Spider-Man. Alright, that was just a gritty Spider-Man story. Just not that good at calculated. Then, Tom Holland's Spider-Man... And Spot and Captain America Civil War blew my mind away. I was amazed how they just made that guy get into a spandex costume and fight superheroes. That was just a good movie. The Spider Man Homecoming came out. Michael Keaton as Vulture. I thought that would never happen. That was just a good movie. Batman, that Batman movie with Michael Keaton and Jack Nelson. Perfect. You gotta watch that. I haven't seen that movie. I do recommend watching. Some other Spider-Man movies, but Far From Home. So, be, be on the lookout for that move, for that stop motion to come out. Far From Home Spider-Man. Stop motion. Oh, that's coming out very soon, guys. Don't worry. It's coming out. But enough about Mysterio and my Marvel collecting life and my movie. But my fanfics about movies. Let's get to number six. I think, wait, hold on. One, two, three. I mean, number, number six or number five. I don't really know. I haven't kept track of it. It's number five or six, I think, so we're going to be doing that. I figured out it's number six, okay? And at those six parts, I'm giving it to the Marvel Retro Electro. That was a really cool action figure to get. I was very happy to get this. Very, very happy to actually finally get an Electro action figure to put in my display. Just to put with my Spider-Man to make the Sinister Six. I have a Doctor Octopus. He is probably going to be in one of these videos one day. Of a stop motion. I didn't bring him with me. I wanted to. And I didn't get a time enough to make this. He'll probably be in a flu. he probably be in a play day. Or another one. But be sure. To find. My least favorite action figures. Alright. I have a lot of least favorite action figures in my collection. So. I don't. I liked. This, he's at number six. Because one reason. He doesn't have fisted. Electric hands. He doesn't have these type hands. I don't like the wide hands. But the reason why he's at number five, he's not one of my favorite Spider Man action figures. Not my one of my favorite Spider Man villains. I don't really like him as a Spider Man villain. He's not my favorite at all. Mysterio, so he's kind of making it up, but I don't really know who's my favorite Spider Man villain at all. These guys are pretty cool. But I'm gonna admit this. 
you won't ruin my Bert. The reason why I don't like Spider Man, um, Electro, Jamie Foxx, oh, Andrew Garfield, and Amazing Spider Man 2 ruined my entire outlook on Electro. Just and Green Goblin and Harry Osborne's Green Goblin. Can't read any comments with Harry Osborne as Green Goblin anymore. It just, it just sucks to me. But enough talking about that. Let's get to number five. And at number five, I'm going to get to the 20th Century Fox, 20th Anniversary, Professor X. Alright, so I'm giving, it, I'm giving it a number five because he, I just really needed him to put in my X-Men display. Only X-Men I had was Deadpool, and Deadpool's not really an X-Men X -Men, so it doesn't really count, but I needed to have one of these, so I... I got that two pack, so you're gonna probably see Magneto come up there very soon, probably. I really needed him in my pack, in my display, because the only display, the only Wolverine, the only figure I had for my display for X Men, X Force Wolverine. I don't even have the yellow tiger suit version of Wolverine. I only have the brown suit, and when that brown suit comes out, guys, I'm getting that the brown suit Marvel Legend, brown suit Hasbro. Figure for, spot for what's his name? Oh, it's on top of my it's on top of my head right now. Ooh. It's his name. Wolverine bouncy, right? It's on top of my head. Bouncy Wolverine. And I'm gonna get the movie Deadpool vote version of Wolverine. So 2021, I'm gonna get some more axe figures. They're gonna be in that. Be be careful. Be sure to watch those reviews. Again, I really like this guy. I didn't bring all my accessories on about the wheelchair right? and him. I was very happy to get this guy. He had two he had two different alternate heads. He had the guy, if you guys seen It Chapter 2, you guys would know who that guy is. But it's the young version of of what's his name? Of Professor X, Charles Xavier. That head right here, the Patrick Stewart head, I grew up with Patrick Stewart. X Men movies, X Men movies. Yeah, I grew up with Patrick Stewart as the main character, as Professor X. So, very happy to finally get a Patrick Stewart head sculpt. I know that people make customs of it, but I really wanted my own Marvel Legend version for it. So I was very happy to get that. So we're enough talking about that guy. Let's get to number four, and at the number four spot, I'm giving it to. The Magneto from the two pack with Charles Xavier. My favorite pack with that guy. He's a cool clock figure. I wanted to get that guy. Michael Fassbender's version. I did like that version of him. But I again I grew up with the older version of him in the movies. Like I used to watch the the old ones. The old X-Men movies. Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. He's gonna stay Wolverine. Hopefully he is. And them too. I grew up with that guy. Hugh Jackman, that Patrick Stewart, those people. I grew up with that. Those guys grew up with them. I like him because he came with. Again, just need him for display. I don't have comic versions of these guys. Just need him for display. So there you go. I just need him for display. That's why I have a pretty good understanding about him. So. Enough about Magneto. Let's get to number three. And at the other three spot, I'm giving the number three spot. Number three spot, I'm giving it to the Marvel Legends. Na <sighs> Thunderstrike. I'm maybe I'm making him Thor. Some guy thinks that he w I would name him Thor. I don't really know anything about Thunderstrike. Never any of the '90s comics about him. I barely even know the person. So he's Thor for me. I'm trying to get any of the Oh, the movie version of Thor, the comic version of Thor. So he's going to be Thor for me. I'm only putting him at the number three spot because I needed him. I would put him at number ten. But I know a lot about Thor, so it counts technically. So. um, I don't really know a lot about, a much about Thor. But I know that Mjolnir, the movies. I know what movies sucked. Thor. I know Thor and Thor the Dark World sucked. Because they weren't really, they were just gritty movies. I didn't, I didn't like them. I, I didn't like those movies. I know that I 
kind of did like the first one. But it was too much going on in that movie. The the third one, Thor Ragnarok, I fell in love. That's when I fell in love with Thor. That's when I really wanted a Thor to put in my display. So that's what I'm going to say right there. I, I really love Thor. Okay. I just, I just really like the Thor that came with this guy. It was pretty cool and everything. I liked it. But now I'm talking about Thor. Let's get to number two. And at number two spot, I'm giving it to the Marvel Legends. He's on Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Sorry. Winter Soldier. I'm giving it to that guy. His metal arm was beautifully sculpted. I dig that arm. Beautiful arm. That was so good of an arm. I just fell in love with that arm. I fell in love with his figure. I liked Winter Soldier. Again, Winter Soldier. I had, a, I had to get one for my comic book display with comic book version of Captain America. I'll probably make him, I'll probably put him in a video. Something, I don't know. He'll probably be, oh, you guys seen him, yeah. You guys seen him. When I put him next to my Thor for the, and then when I put him next to my Hulk for the display for my Avengers. I have to get MCU version of him for my display. I gotta get MCU version, so. Enough about that guy. Let's get to number one. So you guys probably guessed it. Number one spot was gonna go to my favorite Spider-Man of all time. I know I have my gripes with this guy, but I needed a comic book implication of Spider-Man. I have, hold on. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, that I just needed a comic book implication of my Spider-Man. I don't have any comic book version. I only have movie versions of him. Like, I have a game version of him too, but... What the heck? I needed him. Like, I don't have a comic book version. I really needed a, a comic book version of him, so... He took that spot, okay? I know it's probably going to be complaints about him taking the spot, but I don't care. He... I love Spider-Man. Spider-Man is my favorite sp superhero of all time. I mean, Deadpool's a anti-hero, but I like Deadpool and them. They're kind of a mix of characters. Spider-Man and him, which I can't wait to get the issue, the all the comics of him and Deadpool's adventures. Those are cool. He, they're basically the same character. Even the guy that created Deadpool even said, "There's a comic where he." Where, where they will take off his mask, and you know what's under there? A Spider-Man mask. So they were meant to be in a comic book together, so. I was going to say, he is, Deadpool's a killing machine, and and Peter Parker, Spider-Man, is something of an emotional character. I, I dig Spider-Man, all right? Spider-Man characters are my favorite. I got to say, Spider-Man characters are my favorite of all time, and... Tell McGuire, Spider-Man, I don't care what y'all say. Spider-Man's my favorite. If you don't really like him, I don't know what to tell you. Make your own YouTube channel. If you always don't like my my character, what I pick from them. So I'm probably going to... There's most likely going to be... Um, my... I kind of got on the, the type bandwagon of... The disease of buying all Hasbro, my Marvel Legends, this year. So, got to. I'm gonna take a little break. For, I'm gonna take a little breather. But there's gonna be an SH Figure Arts. What's his name? SH Figure Arts. I'm gonna have two X Ray Figure Arts. I'm gonna probably have three actually. Three X SH Figure Arts. I'm getting the homemade ver suit version. SH Figure Arts and his other. What's his other guy's name? The Spider Man. From nine, the Spider-Man Far From Home upgraded suit, the one that Peter Parker makes. I like that. I like that suit. I like that movie. And I'm getting the stealth suit. So, you guys got to wait a little bit for Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home to come out, guys. So, be on the lookout for that movie, guys. It's coming out soon. And thank you for all the support, guys. 
Thank you for sticking around watching the entire video. I know it's a pretty long video. I wanted it to be a little bit shorter, but I don't care. I had a lot to talk about these figures, so. That guy right there, Gambit. Nah, pretty happy. I like the Peter Parker. And if you have not subscribed, and you have not liked, and if you guys like this, like the video. Subscribe, please, you guys. Just subscribe to my channel. There will be more stuff coming in very soon. Just subscribe, please, and I'll catch you back on Super Star Motion. And again, Star Master here, doing another figure review for you guys. So, be on. I'm gonna make a play day video very soon. So, watch Floosh play day. Watch Floosh and his play day. He plays with toys. He gets free. He gets some stuff on Instagram from people that he that he he gets some stuff. I may start doing this, and if you guys start liking my my like these these things right there, the the ten my ten favorite Marvel Legends, I'll keep making them every year to my till you guys don't like them. I'll make them every year. So please. Put in the comments, which one was your favorite? Which one was your favorite out of my ones that I have? So, don't worry. I'm not, I don't have bad opinions about people, but I'm very, very happy for your support. But please put that notification bell on. I post a, I post a lot. All right, guys, I post a little too much, but I don't care. I post a lot. That's my, that's what I do. A lot of people post. Some guys like a million videos on, he has like, 200 videos on there. I don't care. I'll post a lot for you guys. So. With all that being said, I'll catch you back on Super Stop Motion. I'm your, I'm your guys for today. Star Master. See you guys later. Bye bye.